We're live. We'll call this meeting to order. Today's date is August 29, 2023. This is the Parks and Recreation Board meeting. First item on the agenda is the adoption of the agenda. If there's not any changes or modifications, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. Who seconded that? I Zach. Motion made by Steve, seconded by Zach. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passed 3 0. Next item is the presentations and minutes for approval. I know you guys just got those. I don't know if you've had time to read through them yet or not. Um, if not, I'll give you a few minutes. Thank you. I don't know if it's been paid, but it's in the process to be paid if it hasn't. The only change that I've seen when I read through them is in the old business under item A, the last sentence says an executive session or an executive meeting should be set up with the city school to discuss the complex after receiving the second appraisal from a commercial broker that's nothing to do with uh, the sports complex so I think we take that out yeah, that makes sense. we can add it as a under line B I'll add a B there underneath the, the last item where it talks about the invoice for Cash Wagner. If there's not any other changes, I'll entertain a motion to approve. My motion to approve them. Motion made by Jared. Have a second. I'll second. Second by Zach. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed 3 0. Next item on the agenda sports complex update. Uh, I couldn't meet with Meyer Najam on Thursday, which is a company that uh, could possibly have a solution for us. It's called a build to operate transfer. Uh, I guess there was a house bill that was passed. and. I don't really know the details or specifics, but we're supposed to meet with them and, and kind of get their spiel on what they can do. Uh, they built Grand Park, which is a 446 acre complex, uh, using the program this way. So uh, it's something that can be done, but I don't know any of the details. Uh, I had COVID on Thursday, so I had to reschedule it. I actually just called them about an hour ago uh, to see if we got a new date yet. Uh, I don't have that, but he did meet with the mayor at the AIM conference this past week in French Lick. He kind of told him a little bit about it too. So uh, once I get that meeting set up, I'll let you guys know we just can't have more than two parks board members attend it. What, was the, what park did they build? Grand Park, up north of Indy. I think it's, uh, oh, what's it? Carmore Fisher, is it? It's Whitesville. I think it's in Whitesville. I'll find it. Yeah, it's it's just north. It's like it's a suburb of Carmel. Yeah. What's the company name? Meyer Najam, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Can you spell it? Uh, M E Y E R space N A J E M. 
I looked at a lot of their projects on their website. Um, looks like they can do some pretty neat stuff. Not just sports complexes, but they do like fire stations and a lot of municipality buildings and things throughout the state. So, uh, but other than that, I don't really have any other updates on the sports complex. We don't have the video back yet. The mayor's supposed to follow up on that. Uh, I don't know where that's at. I think he is too. Okay, um, so that's what he told me. Um, especially with school being back in session. If we want to do a video, I think we need to definitely explore their options. I'm not sure what there are. Um, if it does that kind of work. But I, I met a guy know. out at Lincoln Amphitheater that does it. He's, I think he lives somewhere close to Dale. Um, and I'm, I saw some of his work and it looked pretty good. So I can reach out to him. I just don't want to get too many people working on it. If I don't even know who did the mayor have. Um, Kevin Felposh. That's right. Yeah, I yeah. talked to him um, in the park a couple weeks ago. He just said he's just been way overwhelmed with his other jobs. So. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll look at some other ideas on that then. Any other discussion about the sports complex? Next item on the agenda is Frank Clemens and Kiwanis Park appraisals. Uh, we did get two appraisals back for Frank Clemens and three back for Kiwanis. I did send the three Kiwanis ones off to John Shoto today. Uh, he replied that he got them and he's sending them off to the school board uh, when they have time to review them. We'll all set up a, an executive session, I would assume, to kind of discuss what we need to do to move forward with that. As far as um, Frank Clemens goes, the deed is pretty strict about what we can do with it. If we want to do something, we'll have to petition the Secretary of Interior or something from the state uh, to be able to be able to sell that park to them. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not opposed to that, but I think we all know the, the importance of trying to get Kiwanis to move forward so we can get the Red Barn built and all that stuff. So, and I. I put that in the email to him too and told him why we're, and he's in agreement with that. So, um, when I get an email back from him as to when or if we're going to have an executive session, I'll reach out to y'all and let you know. I think their next meeting is two weeks from today. I think they meet on Tuesdays. Yeah, I think they do. So, hopefully, they, uh, they'll have the option to add that in you know, prior to their meeting, I think was their goal. That way we can try and get something going on that one. Um, I know that the, the school isn't our main focus, but you know the taxpayers and you know students are. So I think we just need to do everything we can to try and get to some sort of you know a solution there mm -hmm. uh, to keep everybody happy. Sure. <laughs> Any other discussion on the appraisals? Next item on the agenda is Joe Schaefer Park. Uh, under old business there. The pine trees at the corner of 30th and Fulton, uh, those did get taken down. Matt Finley did that. Or we took down all the pine trees in-house, but uh, Matt Finley came in and grinded out the stumps and reclaimed the area for us. I did ask that he didn't seed and straw it, uh, mainly so we can wait until a little cooler weather. We don't have to water it twice a day. And it's not real feasible for us to try to go out and maintain that. And I don't want it to die, so. We're going to wait, uh, see it some other time when it gets cool. Uh, but the area does look a lot better. Uh, playground update. All the playground was actually installed. We're waiting on the borders. I had issues with that. Yeah, they were going to change the lead time to four weeks. I canceled that order. Uh, I reached out to about 10 companies yesterday trying to get updated quotes, and I received almost all of them back. So. I plan on ordering the rest of them today. They should ship out in two days, and then we would have them uh, within three to five days from then. So we're going to miss our September 1 target date that we originally set. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping by the end of the following week we should be good to go and be able to have ribbon cutting. Uh, I did request to get a mulch blower because it's 500 cubic yards of mulch which is five full semi-truck loads of mulch. It's, um, 
it's a significant amount. This blower, you use a skid steer or skid loader and load it, and then you just basically have a hose and you blow it. You know, it's a 150 foot hose. We can get under all the equipment and uh, save a lot of back brakes and things like that. So uh, that piece of equipment's being delivered from Fort Wayne down to the Vincennes McAllister store. So it's a $750 a day to rent it. So I'm gonna wait until I know we have all the mulch and just go get it that morning, early that morning, and use it all day and take it back that day. So, uh, But other than that, all the playground went up finally. Uh, once we got the rest of the parts, we had several pieces of equipment came in that didn't have all the bolts or nuts and or didn't have the swing set came in and the only thing that came in with the swing set is the, the frame. It had no chains, it had no swings, it had no attachments, no mm. bolts, no nothing. It was literally just a pole. Uh, but all that stuff's in now, everything's put up, it's looking good, they've got the dirt cleaned up. So once we get the borders in and the weed barrier down, we'll be ready to put the mulch down. But I think we can do that in a couple of days, have everything done once we get the rest of the material. So. Anybody have any questions or discussion about that? The Joe Schaefer Memorial mm -hmm. bricks, are they taking the old brick? over and rebuilding that so in our last meeting we talked about taking those the ones with the names on them yeah we talked about taking those off cleaning them up and giving them to the people and then after that meeting I was like well maybe we could re reuse those to build the Joe Schaefer Memorial that was at the corner there at Fulton and 30th uh, and I talked to Greg Arnold about it a little bit he's the one that's been doing the other stuff up there and I don't know if we're going to be able to reuse them or not. If we can reuse them, we're going to try to reuse them. If not, we're going to offer them back to the families and, and do away with them. But as of right now, they're still where they were. Yeah. They're still over there, buried in dirt. We haven't got them cleaned up yet. And that whole area over there where the old playground was has a lot of rock in it still. Um, but that's another area we're kind of waiting for. We can go in and soil condition it now and prep it for seed and straw, um, in which we've done once. but. When the rain came through that we had three weeks ago or so, it washed out that area pretty bad and it's all rutted up again. Um, but that's another one. I'm not going to seed it until fall, uh, or at least closer to fall, or you know maybe in mid September, end of September. But yeah, we haven't done anything with the bricks yet. Anything else? Next item on the agenda is the old concession stand removal and the old press box removal. Uh, both of those are completely taken down. There is some, some debris left uh, that'll be cleaned up. The rest of it will be cleaned up next week. Uh, again, another area that we're gonna wait to see. Uh, but that area will be the, uh, we did leave the, that old shade structure that we had talked about. We left it there. We were gonna take it off and take it up to the parks garage and put metal down the sides of it so we had somewhere else to put our mowers and other equipment like our tractor and things. Um, but after looking at it, the end that was right above the shelter house had a, had an end that was not in very good shape and we were gonna have to spend about $500 on wood to get it to where we could move it without damaging everything else. And, and I was like, well, if we get to $500, what's, can we just build one? for a couple thousand and then, you know, do we want to build something like that for a couple thousand or do we want to just wait till we can afford to buy a new building sometime? And so it just kept going from getting something free to now we're at $100,000 and let's, let's just leave it alone and worry about other things. So that's where we ended up leaving it. But the rest of that area should be cleaned up, like I said, by the end of next week. Uh, old William Tell building discussion. I think when we met, we were going to talk about um, getting something from uh, city attorney about what we what processes we have to do to put that out for bid or uh, or what we could do there. Uh, the mayor had asked me to hold off on doing anything with that uh, for a little while until I guess he's got a city councilman that's 
that's trying to work out something. I don't really know the details, but I think what they're still trying to entertain the idea of somehow letting KFC be in there, but KFC ended up buying it from us. Um, I told him, I said, well, that, that all has to go through the parks board. I mean, I'm, we're open to suggestions, but um, that's they can't just let somebody go in there. So, and I think we would have to have, we wouldn't have to, but I think that we should have a public opinion. The public should be able to come in and voice their opinion whether or not they want the KFC to be able to buy that. Um, but if we open it up to bids and KFC is a high bidder, then we don't really have an option. So, uh, so having said that, I didn't send anything to Jeff Haggard or I didn't feel like if we, if I had him do a bunch of leg work and then it was pointless, then we just waste a lot of time for nothing. So I'm going to wait until I hear back from him and try to figure out what they, what their plans are and what they want to propose to the board and move forward from there. You know, I would just think that they would want to do something. They do want to do something. Well, something sooner than later because it's not good for those old buildings to sit. Right. Um, yeah. So hopefully they make a decision on that sooner than later before it gets cold, especially. Yeah, it's, if it sits too long, I'm going to take the air conditioner out of it. I'm going to put it at the parks garage. We don't have one in our office or the restroom there, and it's about 110 degrees in there. So. Um, that was the last item on the agenda. So if there's nothing else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Motion made by Steve, seconded by Zach. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion adjourned.